I have a question in the Bible, if you allow me. It's found in 1 John chapter 2, yes. verses 15 and 16. It reads as follows. Do not love the world or the things in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. And verse 16. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. Sister Maria Luisa, I would like if you could please explain what the lusts of the eyes consist of or give examples of them. What are those lusts of the eyes that we need to avoid so we don't displease God? Well, Thank you so brother, much. There are many things that happen. What is the world? The world is referring to sin. To all that the devil invents and teaches humankind in order to commit sin. Technology, for example. Technology today is teaching people so many things. People go on the internet and they search and analyze and they find so much evil and so many abnormal things that people invent but incited by the devil. And so... Trends happen and the world has their songs. Today's songs, if you analyze a song that they invented, they all have double meaning. Songs talk about sex at all times. The world, what our eyes see, what do we see? We see people do evil. We see media teaching and spreading evil. We see the internet, we see movies, we see all of these things. And what is it that they are teaching? Evil. Where does all of this come from? From technology, from the internet, from movie, from modern times, all the different types of multimedia in general. That is where that comes from. That is what our eyes see. That is what our ears hear. That is what we see. All of the bad examples, divorces, fornication, anger, kidnapping, raping, the way of stealing, the way of killing someone else, techniques in order to do this and that. That is what our ears and our eyes hear and see. We watch, we learn. And people go to learn so many things Black magic, white magic, because now everything is on the internet. How people become sorcerers, how people become witches, how to do witchcraft, how to do curses. All of this is now on the internet. So people are there learning evil. Before, because there was no internet, there was a bit more security and much more mental health. But now... With media, they are used for good, but also for bad. They are used for good and for bad. Technology and the internet, for those who want to use it for good, they are going to triumph. And those who do it for bad, that is the world. That is what it says here, that the world is sin. They teach you how to kill, how to steal, the technique, how to do it, how to escape, how to deceive, how to lie. And the sin that is committed every day. That is the world. That is called the world. And here he is saying that everything that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, he says it is not from God. It all comes from humans who made it, but who taught humans? The devil. That is why we who are Knowing God's way, we are fighting and we have to confront and fight against all of these things that the devil is inventing, has been inventing, and will continue to invent. What else will all of the next generation see? We do not know. What other strange things will they invent in the future that even with animals, we don't know what they're going to do with them? Humans and animals? So all of the governments are going to approve it because it is no longer something abnormal and they approve it. 
just as they are approving many abnormal things that human beings are doing. And that is approved by laws and it's normal and natural now. How sad. And that is called the world. That is the world. And we are in the midst of that world. So we walk around the world. We see many things. We hear many things. But we are not going to practice that. I am not going to do it. Nor am I going to teach it. And I'm going to correct people if they do it. Do not do it. So that you may please the Lord. So that you may please the Lord and continue on the right way. The wholesome way. To have a wholesome mind. A healthy mindset. That is the world. And well, we are here in the fight. And we are sad about the children who are in school, in university. They are teaching them all of these things. And we, the parents, we are in the church. We ought to teach the children that that is bad and that does not please the Lord. That is the only thing we ought to do and pray. 